Hey friends, welcome to another video by Girls With The Curls. I've got my daughter Kendall here. She is four years old. She's got 3C, 4A, low porosity hair. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line to get her curls manageable, beautiful, and healthy. <laughs> that tangle was a lot worse than I expected. So let's get started. All right guys, the first product we're going to be using is the Curl Care Shampoo. This stuff is so good, I love it. You can see I took braids out of Kendall's hair. She's still got a couple more. The good thing about this is she's got all these parts and because she has thicker curls, thicker hair, you can get straight to the scalp when you have these different parts in there. So I can see them as I'm moving around. There's still a couple rubber bands I need to cut out but we'll make that happen as we go along. So Kendall is very independent, very strong-willed, and tender-headed. So this is like fun times for us. So Kendall, put out your hand. She loves to do it herself, which is great. She's going to show everybody shampoo. All right, so we don't need too much. I'm gonna let Kendall do her part. If we need more, we can add it. Let's see just how a little bit more soaps and sudsies this is. Now, make sure you're using a no sulfate shampoo. Sulfate is very drying and a big no for the curly girls, especially if you're following the curly girl method, you do not want sulfate. So make sure it says that on, on this. Okay, here it is. And of course it says no sulfate. Mommy, bubbles. Yay, bubbles. All right, so a lot of Curly Girl shampoos do not bubble, and that's because sulfate is what makes those bubbles happen for us. Um, but there are other ingredients that can cause the bubble. So um, kids love that. The only thing is you have to make sure that they're not causing tangles when they're playing in the bubbles because she'll just keep going like this and this, and all of her hair will be just like a huge tangled mess. Now the braids have prevented it from getting tangly this week, so I'm hoping this will be a pretty decent wash day with very minimal detangling. So, all right, now we're gonna use the palms or the pads of our fingers to really get into her scalp and to remove the dirt and build up from this past week. Now I only shampoo every other week and then in the opposite weeks, we do a co-wash, which is a really light, um, not a shampoo, but it's like washing, it's like washing with a conditioner. So, um, yeah, very good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and work this through. We're going to rinse it out and then move on to the conditioner. Hey guys, we're back. I went ahead and rinsed out the shampoo from Kendall's hair. You can see, even though the braids are great protective style, they still get a little bit roughed up about a week old, seven day old braids. Um, the ones that were much smaller always do much better. Whereas I had two bigger braids in the back and they kind of got a little bit of tangled. She didn't wear her satin cap every night this week. So you can tell, you can tell the big, the big difference here. So there are some tangles I am going to have to work out. So rather than do this conditioner, which is great. I love this conditioner, but it's a little bit too light for Kendall's hair. So I'm actually going to skip this. I am going straight into the deep conditioning curl mask and that's because this is going to condition, it's going to sit, it's going to absorb into her hair. Um, it's going to stay on for five to ten minutes. So um, this bath water is really warm and Kendall has low porosity hair. So that's great because her hair strands are going to be opened up to be able to accept this product. Now she's got to have wet hair. And she's got to have product because in order to hydrate and moisturize hair, you need to combine water with your product. So I'll try to warm up this product itself a little bit. We are going to make sure it gets all over and then she's cold. It's okay. We're almost done. You want to help me? Why don't you get your doll, get your doll and you're going to do her hair too. So Kendall's going to work on her doll. Do you want some? You want some for your doll, right? Yeah. Kendall likes the bubble one, so I will give Kendall some bubble shampoo for her doll because conditioner is just not as fun. So she's going to make some bubbles there while I fully saturate these hair strands with this deep conditioner. I'm going to get in extra here 
because that should be easily worked out once her hair is hydrated again. Honey, can you turn your body that way so I can get the other side? Now this is pretty much done. I've got these clips here. These are so great. I love them. Um, I think it's Extava. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but they're really good, heavy duty, and they've never broken on me. So I am going to keep her hair into two different sections. Now you could probably do four just to be on the safe side and prevent more tangles from happening. But for today, let's just do two. And again, you can just see how dry this is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use more product on this side so it can really saturate all of her hair. Um, with thick parts like this, just make sure you get all the layers. So there's pieces under here that could be avoided if you don't do this part and really separate it and get it through. So I do need to get through here, so I'll work on that. And then I'm going to tie her hair up and I'll put a shower cap on. And then we'll see what condition her hair is after that and maybe do some detangling. So we'll be right back in a few. Hey guys, back with Kendall here. We are going to see how well this deep conditioning mask worked on her hair. So let's go ahead and take off her shower cap. How you feel, Kendall? Okay, so I'm gonna remove a clip and then let's just take a look at how her hair is. Okay, so pretty decent. The slip is really good and slip is just how well tangles are able to pull out. She still does have this knot, so I will tackle that. I'm not gonna do it in this video, but I do have another video that I will tag into this video about how to detangle. Um, but overall, this is, this is really good. I love this deep conditioning treatment. I am gonna go ahead and rinse it out, and then we'll be back with the next step. All right, guys, we're back. That tangle was a lot worse than I expected. Um, she's not happy about it. I'm not really happy about it um, because I swore having a protective style in was going to prevent any tangles. But then after I regrouped and I thought about it, that style was actually in for seven days and we lose up to 100 strands of hair per day. So if there were rubber bands here and here and here and she dropped hair strands just naturally from her head over seven days, then that hair wrapped around the rubber bands and it just tangled. So that's just what we have to deal with. That it is what it is. I got the tangles out. Make sure you check out my video on detangling and also um, my 12 page free blueprint is going to be listed down below. There's a whole section on detangling tips. So with that, I am going to go in with this conditioner really quick. This is so great because it's a three in one. You can choose to either wash it out. Uh, you could actually use it as a co-wash or it can be a leave-in. So I'm just going to slop this on. All right, so I'm just going to work it through with my fingers, the conditioner. I'm using it as a leave-in. So I don't always use this leave-in for her because she does have thicker hair and for those with thicker and tighter curls or coily hair you want to use a heavy cream or a butter so i am going to pile on the defining cream right after this i just want to get out most of these tangles um i'll leave it down for a little bit but not much longer later on i'll probably do some kind of protective style in her hair um but it won't be the same protective style. You wanna do something different because you don't wanna be constantly pulling and creating tension on their hair or on their scalp because that will cause breakage with your child's curly hair. So let's go ahead. I've got two here. I've got the Curl Talk Defining Cream as well as the gel. Now the gel goes on top of the cream and that's because um, it will actually hold in the moisture it may create like a harder shell to the curls and that's fine. You can break that shell or that cast um, once it dries. So you wanna just use this on damp hair. Make sure you work it in all over. There are several different methods of application. You can look up the terms online. 
Um, but there's raking. You can also use the scrunch method. Actually, that's a good sound. <laughs> that means her hair is really moisturized, if you can hear that. Um, so very good sound. You do want to hear that while you're working with curly hair. Um, so yeah, I'm going to work this through and then I'll add the gel and I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, so I'm finishing up with Kendall hair. Her shirt is wet, so I'm going to have to go change it. Now, this is the Tangle Teaser. I love this thing. I do the finger detangling and then the wide tooth comb. Um, but this really gets the product in. It works the hair, the product into the strands so well. That's why I love it. There you go. So that's what the curls look like when you use the Tangle Teaser. That's why I love it so much. It's amazing. This little one is exhausted. Wash day routines are long. Um, so this is the gel. It's clear. And again, it's just going to put a coat on top of her hair strands to be able to retain moisture and hold this moisture in. Oh, and it smells so good. Do you like how it smells? No. She's just done. <laughs> All right, guys, so after that, um, I let it air dry. You could diffuse, but she's a kid, and it is what it is. Now, I'll leave her hair down, but not for very long because kids are going to be running around, jumping around, doing flips, and tangles will happen, like, within 15 minutes. So I'll leave it down, and then probably in a separate video, I'll just put some twists or something in. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Kendall, you got anything? Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. Make sure you check out the links below. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and click on the notifications bell. That way you'll always be notified when we post our next video. Love you guys and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.